Every Friday in our seven in your neighborhood series, we feature the people and places in a Metro Detroit community. And this week we're in wonderful wine dot. Wonderful wine dot. Mm -hmm. Our first stop is a new hotspot downtown open by best friends returning to their old stomping grounds where they first met over 20 years ago. It isn't easy starting your own business, but tonight in our seven in your neighborhood series, we bring you the story of two childhood friends who took a chance on each other and their passion for beer and how they brought a new exciting business to Wyandotte. Well, we've known each other since we were about four years old. We went to the same elementary school. John Frederick and Brian Elsesser became thick as thieves in elementary school and their friendship grew stronger through high school. And after graduation, John went to Northern Michigan University and Brian moved to Grand Rapids. But both came back to their roots here in Wyandotte. Coming back here just feels like a place that's home. It's, it's comfortable, I know the place, you know, the, the people here are good. As best friends, they spent a lot of time together. And as the Michigan craft beer trend was growing, they started a hobby of making home brew in their kitchen. And they heard such great feedback on their unique beer recipes, they thought maybe this hobby could be a potential moneymaker. Start of the project, we had probably been making beer for five, six years before we really decided like, hey, this is something that I think we can do for a living. With a strong business plan in place, last November, they opened up Wyandotte Beer Company. In fact, it's just down the street from their elementary school where their lifelong friendship began. Sometimes people say, you know, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. But the reality is you're going to work every single day. You are working, but you're having fun while you're doing it. And some days uh, you're like, I've never wanted to kill this person more in my life. I need uh, a break it, from this guy. Yeah, just for, <laughs> yeah. Just Turning a hobby into a business has some reality checks, but the like mindedness helped with a successful launch. And four months after opening, they're now making a commitment to support other Wyandotte small businesses. We're just happy that there's so many other great businesses in this town that offer so much that, you know, we can work with. Best friends living the dream and making their mark in Wyandotte. I'm Alicia Smith, 7 Action News. Oh, wow. That is so great to see, mm -hmm. you know, best friends and doing what they love. Love yeah. it. Looks like they're having a great time, mm -hmm. too. And be sure to stick around because at 6 o'clock, photojournalist John Cellino takes us to a unique house bar that sits smack dab in the middle of a Wyandotte neighborhood. That bar has been slinging drinks since the turn of the last century. So can't wait to see that.